Hello, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's myself, Paul Neal, and I'm here to speak about Shane Duffy. The breaking news. Uh, it's kind of been news going around the last few days anyway. People were just waiting on an imminent announcement uh, on Shane Duffy going to Celtic. It's a season-long loan. I think it's a great move for him because he grew up supporting the club as a, as a kid. Um, you know, most people who know Derry, Ireland, Celtic, there's a huge connection there. Um you know, the re look, look at McLean, like everybody wants McLean to come because he, he shows the same type of things Duffy does, you know, character, leader, wants to do all for the shirt, all for the badge, you know, he talks about Celtic with such great fondness um, all the time and look, it's a, it's, a, it's a move that suits all parties in my opinion because you have one, I think he's, he's one of the best defenders in the Premier League but maybe that's me being biased Um. But I definitely think he's in the the top fifteen. I know for some reason he can't get into the Brighton team because he doesn't suit the the style in which the manager wants to play, which is bizarre. Um, but look, I think it's uh, Celtic have really gained a top defender, and Celtic will be looking to, you know, obviously get the ten in a row and finish the season strongly, as well as you know getting into the Europa League and, and doing well in that as well, which could be a huge thing for Shane, a huge thing for his. Um, you know his his hunger to go there. Obviously, he wants to go there as a Celtic fan. But the fact now that he ha he has the chance to try and win ten in a row. Hopefully, it does now. I'm saying Troy. I'm hoping that it does happen. Obviously, um, you know it would be fantastic if he went up there, got the ten in the ten in a row, and then at the end of the season, kind of left, you know, off into the to the sunset and got another move because I don't think Celtic could be able to afford his wages. But I think it's it's a perfect. Um, situation to be in for Shane now because he gets to go to the club that he loves, even if it's just for a season. But if he gets to win that ten in a row, he'll go down in history. Um, Celtic will gain from it. Ireland will gain from it. He'll be playing first team football, and yeah, I just think that this is a really good move, uh, for all parties. And it's the fact that it's a loan deal, he could go back to Brighton then next season, or at the end of next end of this season, sorry, and then look at a club maybe a club in England might come in for him if he's after coming off a really impressive season with Celtic you know um, you look at players who've gone up there before and it's helped reignite their careers you know Robbie Keane Craig Bellamy just two off the top of my head so I think I know they're strikers but look I think it's um, I think it's a really really good move and I think you know it's it's a positive and it's been coming for a while now I think and we're in a good situation with our player, with our Irish players. I think we were all worried when the transfer market was open and who was going to go where. You've got Jeff Hendrick gone to Newcastle now. Seems quite happy. Seems quite settled already. You've got Duffy gone now to Celtic. You've got Matt Doherty gone to Spurs. All our you know, players getting moves for the better, I believe, anyway. Um, it's only going to benefit Ireland. It's only going to benefit Stephen Kenny, in my opinion. So I think, yeah, it's it's positive news. He's absolutely delighted. Um, I know his mother's delighted and uh, obviously his, his father passed away recently d during the lockdown unfortunately but I know how much he would have loved Brian would have loved to have seen Shane playing for Celtic um, you know he he nearly signed for Celtic before uh, when Brendan Rodgers was manager but he just couldn't get the deal over the line whatever it was I think Brighton offered more money to Blackburn I think it was at the time and that was the reason why he went to Brighton because they gave the money that Celtic couldn't to the club. So that's why he didn't go there before. But I know his dad would be looking down on him and absolutely delighted that uh, he's going to be a Celtic player. And I think it, I think it suits everybody. Really, in my opinion, I think it really suits everyone. And it's a really positive time in Irish football. All our players are getting the right moves. We're coming for the international week now tomorrow. And everything's just looking positive. I remember going back two years ago and we, we looked like there was no players coming through. None of our players were playing with top clubs. It's all changing now for the better. And I think it's I think it's time for a shift in attitude um, from some fans as well to maybe be a bit more positive towards things. People are saying, oh, we shouldn't have went to Celtic to step down. I think, it, look, it's a season-long loan. It means he gets first-team football, guaranteed first-team football because he'll go in there probably alongside Julian and the two of them could be absolute beasts together and, and and dominate and if they do well in Europe as well 
I mean, it bodes well for everybody. So I think it's something we go, uh, have to get behind. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Are you happy with this move? Um, and what have you made of the transfer activity of our players so far at this window? Have you been happy with it? Are you happy to see Doherty go to Spurs? Are you happy to see Hendrik going to Newcastle? And so on. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe now. We're trying to get to 10k as fast as we possibly can. Um, and without your help, we won't we won't reach that. So if you're a returning watcher and you haven't subscribed but you're a regular watcher, just please hit that subscribe button. And as well, if you can drop a like, it makes a huge difference to the channel. Thanks very much, guys. And I'll talk to you later.